damage on this guy from range. It's uh, Aegis Shield does block both energy weapons and kinetic weapons, which is great. Got some uh, good damage over there, and I am going to finish him off. There we go. Go ahead and uh, lay into this uh, Al Ming real quick. See if I can't get close enough to uh, actually use my ability. Counter heal here. Now it's 350 meter range. There we go. So I do have him suppressed, which is good. Looks like uh, is that an Arthur over there? Might be an Arthur. It sure is. So there we go. I'm just tearing into that Arthur with this build. I'm going to have to use my phase shift. Get a small reload going. Got a little too close to his uh, part there. And uh, the Arthur goes down. All right. Hey, what's up everybody? Chief here. Thanks for checking out my video. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the brand new robot Cerberus. Yep, that's right. I'm showing you an early look at the Cerberus. I do happen to have it on my BattleRack account, so we are going to delve right into it and show you what this robot can do. As most of you know, the uh, Cerberus was the community built robot. This, this robot was designed and built based on input given throughout the community. So hopefully it is going to be a, a fun robot to play. Uh, another thing to note is that uh, even though the Cerberus is actually in the game right now, it is not available for players until the next operation. The next operation, the top prize on the free line is going to be a Cerberus. So everybody will have an opportunity to get their hands on this brand new robot in the near future. Uh, as you all know, the current operation ends in just a few days and we should see a new operation pop up shortly after that. So let's go ahead and jump into the hangar. But before we do, don't forget to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel and turn on bells for notifications so you don't miss any of my videos or live streams. Okay, so here we are. Like I said, we are on the Battle Rec account today. Uh, I do have access to these uh, brand new Cerberus on this account. Uh, I'm not going to do a whole lot of gameplay with it, but uh, I will show you what they do in the game and how they play. Um, so let's go ahead and take a quick look at the Cerberus itself. Um, it actually looks pretty good and it does look like it will be coming with a paint job already released called the Python. Uh, and it is available apparently for 750 gold in the uh, paint store. So that is what the uh, paint job will look like. And this here is the standard paint job. It actually looks pretty cool. Can't really complain too much about it. Now a uh, quick look at the write-up for the Cerberus. Um, now the Cerberus is a little bit different than some of the other robots because its ability is called Blackout and what it does is it shoots three different energy guns all at once. Uh, one of them does a lockdown, one of them is a suppression, and the other is a damage over time effect or corrosion as it's known in the game. Uh, it also has an Aegis shield. Now the Aegis shield on this robot is very similar to how the shield on the Heichi works but it is with Aegis instead of a standard energy shield. So it is always up, you don't have to cycle it or anything like that, uh, and once it gets depleted it will slowly uh, bring itself back up in durability over time. Now the cooldown for the uh, ability on the Cerberus is 10 seconds and the built-in weapon range is 350 meters, which is really not too bad at all. Especially given the fact that it has suppression built into it, I think it's going to be a very helpful ability. And for the first Cerberus in my lineup, I am running uh, cryo weapons. So I have two cryo and a glacier along with a last stand and a heavy armor kit. Now for this build particularly, I could have went with either a heavy armor kit or the fortifier um, as the fortifier would give that uh, additional boost to the built-in shield. But I figured I would go ahead and try it without the fortifier to begin with. Um, and do keep in mind that uh, it does only have two passive module slots, so that's why I only have two equipped here. And finally, rounding it up, I have a phase shift. A quick look at the pilot for this Cerberus. Um, I've got armor expert, mechanic, uh, energy shield expert, crazy electrician, which also uh, increases, or which is for the shield, but it increases the, uh, the uh, 
shields uh, recharge, so 20% faster on that. I have Roadhog Suppression, uh, increased suppression effect of 12.5%, and Destroyer, which gives an additional 10% damage to the built-in weapon. So overall, I think this is going to be a pretty solid build, but let's go ahead and take a look at the other Cerberus I have in my lineup. So with this Cerberus, uh, I do have the optional paint job on it, so it does look pretty cool. And I have it equipped with Scourge and Calamity. For modules, I'm going to be running one thermonuclear reactor, one last stand, and advanced repair unit. So uh, once again, these stats on the Cerberus are actually going to be the same as the other one, so I'm not going to go into that, but I will show you the pilot that I'm using for this one. And I am using the legendary Adrian Chong pilot just for the additional damage boost to the weapons. Uh, and once again, I have Mechanic and Armor Expert, Energy Shield, Crazy Electrician, Guidance Operator, which is going to help with that lock-on for the uh, Scourge and Calamity, or yeah, Scourge and Calamity weapons, uh, and that uh, boost to Suppression. Quick look here at the uh, rest of my lineup that I'm going to be running today. I have in here the Ao Jun, Phantom, Fenrir, and El Ming running the rocket weapons. So let's go ahead and jump into a couple of matches and see how this thing goes. Okay, so here we are. We are playing some Beacon Rush, dropping in on carrier map, starting off with the Phantom, try and pick up a, a beacon or two, and then uh, try and get some good gameplay of the brand new Cerberus. So here we are, pick up the uh, first beacon, and I do try to save uh, my ability here on the Phantom so that I can go in and use it uh, for a longer period of time to challenge Center Beacon. So there we are. Everybody is at. Looks like everybody is pretty much staying back. This guy had a uh, bad jump there, but he doesn't see me. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and drop in with the Cerberus. Now, this build uh, does run 600 meters, so if you are looking for some mid range play, I think this might be a pretty solid build. Everybody knows the uh, Scourge are pretty powerful. able to get that uh, beacon turned white, but uh, it's okay, we should be alright. And I'm just going to uh, try and keep my range. It's like a mercury uh, over here, it just went down. Let's see if we can't get it finished off here. There we go. advantage of the uh, max range of his weapons. So I'm going to uh, try to take advantage of mine. So if he wants to go, if he wants to hit me, he's going to have to come closer. But uh, I can still hit him at least with my uh, top weapon. He's going to be almost in range. But, uh, oh, he took 
took me down. That's all right. down, but uh, he is over the water, so I'm not going to uh, help him much. I'm suppressed once more. So uh, with two medium weapons and one heavy, this thing is actually pretty good. And uh, being able to suppress your enemies definitely helps. down anyway. Uh, but uh, not too bad of a uh, run with that uh, robot. Very, uh, a very fun robot, uh, to be honest. It's uh, not an OP robot uh, by any means, but uh, having all those different abilities was really helpful. Especially the uh, suppression and uh, that Aegis Shield. That Aegis Shield is actually really good. to uh, one player maybe. Go ahead and uh, get him finished off. But uh, yeah, I mean, overall, I gotta say, the uh, Cerberus is actually pretty fun to play. And uh, if you play it well, I think uh, you'll see quite a lot of uh, benefit to running a robot that has those built-in abilities. Um, but uh, let me know what you guys think uh, below. A uh, quick look here at the tail of the tape, uh, 2.3 million damage, uh, 7 kills and 3 beacons, not too bad overall. Um, but uh, yeah, for real, the, uh, the Cerberus, in my opinion, is actually a really fun robot. Um, can't say it, say it enough, I think they, uh, they really did a good job balance-wise with this robot. Uh, it is not extremely OP, but uh, at the same time, it's still fun to play and can compete. So... I'm really glad that they are going to be giving it uh, to everybody or give everybody an opportunity to earn one for free. Of course, you are going to have to grind and finish out that uh, free line on the next battle pass. But uh, 
let me know what do you guys think of the Cerberus are you guys looking forward to uh, bringing it into your hangar um, so yeah let me know in the comments below but uh, that is going to wrap up the video everybody I hope you enjoyed the gameplay uh, I hope you guys are really looking forward to this brand new robot uh, I know I am um, I just I just love these kind of robots so uh, anyway until the next video chief out Thank you.